Good morning, good afternoon, good evening friends. Today we are going to discuss on autosis interview questions and answers which are 100% asked interview questions. So I have got many requests in the comment section like you require the autosis interview questions and answers. That's the reason I have uh, come up with this video. I spoke with many autosis engineers who are working to monitor or support the many applications, servers and come up with these interview questions. So these are most most important autosis interview questions. So watch this video till end. You will get to know all important interview questions. If you want these interview questions, PDF format at free of cost, you can subscribe the channel, click on bell icon and send me mail on complexsql at gmail.com which you can see on the screen. So let's get started. Start with first interview question. What is autosys and what it is used for? Autosys is an automated job control system for scheduling, monitoring and reporting jobs. It is used to define, schedule, monitor complex workflows in distributed environments. Okay. So it is automated job control system for scheduling, monitoring and reporting jobs. It is used to define, schedule and monitor the complex job workflows in distributed environment. Example, in banking system, Autosys can schedule and monitor the jobs, process daily transaction and generate the reports and backup the databases. So backing up the databases is also most most important thing. So backing up of the databases is also been done in the autosys system. Next is what is components of autosys? So what are multiple components of autosys? The main components of autosys are event server that is database uh, that stores all jobs, machine and event information, event processor that interprets and processes the events, remote agent that executes the job on remote machine and reports the status back to the event server. Example for the same, an event server may be an Oracle database that stores all job definitions while remote agents are installed on different servers where all jobs will run. Got it? Simple. Next is how do you define a job in Autosys? How do you define the job in Autosys? A job is defined using job definition file that is JIL, job definition file, job information language we are using in Autosys, JIL language, which includes various attributes like job type, command, machine and owner, etc. Okay. So you might have seen some uh, messages are coming to you, like uh, you require to pay your loan on this, this date. These are the job schedulers. These are scheduled jobs in autosis. Okay. Example for the same insert job double colon my job name. Job type is equal to C your double colon C. Command you can have to you should have to give the path of the command. Machine my machine owner double colon user at the rate my domain dot com. That is machine ID machine name. Time you require to give the time to run the job. And run calendar, the work days. You require to define the work days. Next interview question, what type of jobs are there in autosys? What are the types of jobs in autosys? First is command job. Starts with C, executes the command for specified machine. Second is file watcher job, that is F job. Monitors the arrival of a file. Third is box job, B job. That is a container of other jobs is called as box job okay identified by b a command job to run a script a file watcher job to monitor for a file upload a box job is to group related jobs together got it next is what is job a box job in autosys and how it is used a box job is a container that holds other jobs like child jobs Okay, you should have to have some container to hold all the jobs, right? So that is done by box job. 
the box job itself can be scheduled and its style job will be executed according to the defined condition example for the same a box job might contain several jobs for different parts of nightly batch processes when the box job starts it triggers all the contained jobs in sequence or parallel based on their dependencies got it next is how do you start a job in autosys how do you start the job in autosys you can start a job manually using send event command send event command example send event command hyphen e for start job hyphen j job underscore name sometimes jobs are not starting okay or running at the schedule time that time you can use this command example for the same send event hyphen e force just start job hyphen j daily backup so daily backup job will start immediately so this is used for manual job starting intervention okay next interview question what is difference between on ice and on hold status so you might have heard about multiple statuses but in autosys there are two statuses important statuses on i status the job is taken out of scheduling queue and does not run dependencies of job will be ignored okay so that is called as on, on i status on hold status the job will not run but its dependencies will still be checked and other jobs dependent on it will wait okay if the job has stopped the dependencies will be ignored for on i status on hold status dependencies will not ignore example if a job is on ice it effectively removed from the schedule if job is on hold it pause but remains in the schedule and its dependencies are still monitored got it eighth interview question how can you monitor job statuses in autosys you can monitor job statuses using auto rep command auto rep command hyphen z job name that is the syntax of the command example for the same auto rep command hyphen j my job name this command displays the current status last run information and other details of specified job or my job name job okay next interview question what is job dependency in autosys job dependencies defines conditions that must be met before a job can run dependencies can be based on other job statuses okay example for the same success my previous job this condition ensures that job runs only after my previous job has completed successfully okay so you should have to have have to check multiple syntaxes in autosys while working with autosys same like other monitoring tools but some statuses some syntaxes are different in autosys got it so uh, just would like to ask one uh, question in between if you can comment the answers effectively your answer will be included in the video as well as my website with your name featured okay so interview question is what are other monitoring tools which we are use using in day to day uh, life or just would like to give some monitoring tools what uh, different monitoring tools which we are using for monitoring the applications as well as server just like autosys okay you can answer it in uh, comment section uh, with your name i'll feature it in video as well as my website tenth interview question how do you create a calendar in autosys calendars in autosys are used to define job schedules calendars is nothing but the job schedules okay based on the specific dates you can create the calendar using auto cal command there is a command just like linux there are commands okay auto cal hyphen c work days that is the example this command creates a calendar named work days you can add the dates to this calendar auto cal asc work days hyphen a you can add the date whatever you want and on that day the job will run okay next interview question how can you change a job definition in autosys 
use jil command to update the job definition example jil efo update job my job command you can give the path where script runs this updates the command for job my job name next is what is global variables in autosys how do you use them global variables from c c++ global local every language every programming language it will come right global variables are environmental variables available to all jobs those are available environmental variables available for all jobs they are defined in autosys secure file or can be set using send event command example for the same to set a global variable send event hyphen e set global hyphen g variable name is equal to value what is auto wrap command and how it is used auto wrap command is used to report a job and machine statuses example auto wrap hyphen z my job name hyphen d this command displays detailed information about my job name including its last run status and next run time next interview question how do you handle job failures in autosys configure error handling by specifying retry attempts notification methods and actions on failure within the job definition example for the same insert job double colon my job name job type c command is equal to path of the command machine double colon my machine owner of that machine retry count notification on failure this is just a syntax you can go through the syntax okay to handle the job failures last and 15th interview question what is send event command and how it is used in autosys send event command is used to send the events to autosys such as a starting or stopping a job putting a job on hold and setting up the global variables example to put the job on hold you can use send event hyphen e job on hold hyphen z job name that is my job name okay so these are most most important autosys interview questions you may ask in monitoring or application support interview questions so you can go through all the interview questions if you want all these interview questions at free of cost please subscribe the channel click on bell icon and send me mail on complexsql@gmail.com which you can see on the screen here so these interview questions examples cover most broad range of autosys functionalities concepts providing a good foundation of interview for this topic hope you like this video if you like this video please do subscribe the channel click on bell icon thanks for watching this video till end cheers